In this video, we're bringing the Titanic back to all its glory. To do this, I'm using 10,000 Lego. I'm even going to surprise everyone by sailing it across the Atlantic Ocean with live plants and colorful fish. But it's not gonna be easy. They're broken, they're broken. I love the Titanic. So when I heard LEGO released its exclusive Titanic set, I got really excited. Like, really excited. And this gave me an idea. What if we built the world's first ever fish tank with a giant LEGO ship? Now, I've built some crazy fish tanks in the past, like this claw machine featuring an automatic rain shower, and this Minecraft LEGO tank, where I gave my turtle Harry his very own tropical vacation. So this should be a piece of cake. Until I went to the LEGO store to get it, and it was sold out everywhere. I immediately backordered it online. And while we wait, let's build these historical LEGO boats I bought instead. Moana's raft was the ultimate eco-friendly ship built from a single tree stump 2,000 years before the Titanic even set sail. These sailboats were used for fishing and racing. Traditional Vikings sailed around on their longships a thousand years after Moana's one tree raft. These were almost 100 feet long and could hold up to 60 men. Talk about a Viking party boat. Centuries after this, there were pirates. They were the undisputed rulers of the open ocean, striking at will and taking what they pleased. Which brings us to the Titanic, which, mind you, finally arrived. This is a 1 to 200 scale model of the Titanic, and it cost me a fortune. And even though it's glorious, it has one big problem. This is one of the largest Lego models ever. It has over 9,000 pieces and is over four feet long. And I can tell you right now, it's not gonna flow into fish tank. This is going to be extremely challenging. And I have a challenge for you. Can you spot these characters hidden somewhere in this video? So here's the game plan. Step one, build the incredibly large Lego Titanic with its painstaking interior details, like the first class dining room, the grand staircase, and the various passenger cabins. Step two, work out a way to sail this thing across the water, and hopefully with real fish swimming beneath it. Step three, use a green screen to recreate the most famous ship of all time, but we're gonna need a gigantic fish tank. And the largest tank we have in the studio is 47 inches long. The Titanic would not even fit in here. We're gonna need a custom tank. This is already getting pretty expensive. And while we wait to pick it up, let's try this out with the miniature Titanic fish tank. This brick set includes 390 pieces and is just over 12 inches long. As suspected, it's missing a lot of key details. The real LEGO model will be four times bigger and split into three sections, giving us an authentic view of the interior. I don't know about you, but this will be the first time I've seen the complete Titanic in a fish tank. Now for the moment of truth. Will our mini Titanic sink or float? Okay, I don't know who I was kidding. This little guy is not floating. I wonder if any of the boats we built actually float. Check it out, she's sailing, look at her go. But will the longship hold up? Okay, that didn't last one second. I'm starting to worry about our pirate ship. You gotta wonder if anyone bothered to test these in a lab. After this experiment, it really isn't looking good for our Lego Titanic. Eventually, I was able to balance the ship on these rocks, and it looks pretty awesome. I just hope we can come up with a real solution for the gigantic Titanic. Here it is, the real deal. I read about a lot of people getting scammed with fake Titanics, but I can assure you this one is real and cost over $700. But is it worth $700? I don't know, but we're about to find out. And while I'm building, I wanna tell you about Era. Era makes it fun and easy to get your eight glasses of water a day. They use scents to flavor plain water. But before I show you how it works, let's add in these tiny anchors and tiny flags. Drinking water with Era is easy. Just fill up the bottle, pop on a flavor pod, Pull it up to activate, and then sip. Your brain does the rest. It's honestly crazy. It tastes just like watermelon, even though I'm drinking plain water. So far, I've drunk two full water bottles during this build. With 15 different flavors, your mouth will never get bored. And there's no sugar or artificial flavors. The Titanic is really taking shape now. Only like 7,000 more pieces to go. And the best part? No more plastic bottles, which protects animals like Harry and Ralph. Click 
the link in my description to try Air Up for yourself. After a few more details, we finally finished the first part of the ship. We have a big problem. We've been building for an entire day and this is all I have to show for it. I have so much more to do. If we're gonna get this done before Christmas, we need to call in some help. Bye, have fun. While Adam's building, let's pick up the acrylic to make our fish tank. These crazy machines use a computer program to make very precise cuts. This ensures our tank is watertight. This piece of acrylic takes up the entire trunk. Our tank is going to be massive, so we're gonna need a solid stand. And that means heaps of wood. It's so nice having a break from building. Let's call Adam and see how he's going. I managed to get about nine more bags on since you left, but this is taking forever. I'm about halfway done on the midsection, but this is not what I signed up for, Jamie. When are you coming back? Soon enough. Let's pick up some awesome fish for our setup. I went with these platies. Now, this many fish requires a lot of food. Welcome home, little guys. If you saw my short last week, you know I found a weird bug in Lucy and Lemon's tank. At first I thought it was a spider, but it was actually a dragonfly. Unfortunately, he didn't make it, but if I find another one, I'll hatch it here on the channel. Check out how far Adam got. He finished the entire midsection of the ship. This looks epic. We only have one more part to build. Did you know that the real Titanic was the largest ship of its time? Measuring over 882 feet long and 175 feet tall. That is longer than two football fields and as tall as a 20-story building. We just lost an hour of work. At least it only took three seconds to rebuild. Finally, after days of building, our Lego Titanic is complete. So, was it worth $700? I don't know, but it does have some serious detail. We have the four smokestacks, a working rudder and working crane, the 16 lifeboats that were aboard, a working replica of the state-of-the-art engine room, and the ship's famous promenade deck. So I think it was worth the money, but what do you think? Earlier, our mini Titanic rolled over. So I'm building these supports to hold our ship upright. I just can't wait to see this in a fish tank. In previous episodes, we built some fun stands for our fish tanks. And because the Titanic was such an impressive boat, it needs an epic stand. The stand is coming together, but it's taking forever. Now we just have to give it a glow up and add some awesome finishing touches. These portholes are actually meant for dogs, but I reckon it should fit my head in here too. This is awesome. There's only one more thing we need to do. That was so easy. Just kidding, but I saved you four hours of watching footage like this. We're almost ready for the Titanic to set sail. Did you know it was considered the epitome of luxury travel? It was equipped with a swimming pool, Turkish spa, and even a kennel for first class pups. They're broken, they're broken. I wanted to save time building these things, but clearly they're never gonna work. I can't believe I tried to cut corners. I'm going to use these acrylic support beams like I should have done in the first place. If these don't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We've come too far to fail. Three, two, one. It's floating! It's time to add our awesome school of fish. I wonder what they think of the Titanic. Now, I have one more special surprise. I even bought this little fan to make real waves. We actually did it! We just sailed the Lego Titanic in a good day. Subscribe for your chance to win, and I'll see you next week.